So we have to post commentate everything. Fun. And we get that stuff. Yeah. Not that I care, but what Just made you think of putting alligators and golf together? I didn't. Fact <laughs> is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Uh, he sounds like a redneck, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. Court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? <laughs> hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. <laughs> Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Mm -hmm. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. Yeah. So what kind of handicap does your average so. Bigfoot have? <clears throat> Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense yeah. a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. <laughs> protective yeah. ankle wear? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? It's a great name for it. Protective ankle wear. <laughs> yeah, Dunk the Beast. Food and shelter, right. Max, let's You'll go. You'll see, he was the Star Trek. And Max the proprietor so has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast, unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> <laughs> there wasn't a time hey, before Pokemon it. existed, it two, so. uh, What was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? <laughs> yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge <laughs> lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp bitches from that bad rug. Maybe you What's should watch yourself, coming? little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, <laughs> I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. That's, that's the best joke in this game. At least, uh, let's say it's my favorite joke in this game. Line here, which is fuzzy budget. Oh, cat. Here you go, boss. Poor Max. Oh, God. Uh. What a jerk. Not the beast. It's a nice five iron, though. I'm scared, Sam. <laughs> I just want to—I just show you off, like how to use a normal golf ball, and you figure out that's not what you what you should do. You just aim. Basically, the bottom of the pole shows you where where the ball would go. So it's pretty simple. He has to move yeah, he has to move his tire away. <laughs> that's for sure. Hey, I'm scared, Sam. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. So that's why we got the bucket of fish for. You have to exchange it for that. No, the slimy bucket of fish. Of course, he just puts a bucket of golf balls on his jacket. And it makes nice sense. Alligators. Do you like roaches? 
this is so random. <laughs> so this is gonna take me a while. Um, actually, not sure if I should fast fast forward that now that I post commentate anyway. But I don't. I don't know. I don't want to fast forward anything in this game. It's just taking a while. Let's let's say that way to figure out because they always swim a little bit. When, you know, and sometimes they swim swim too far. Basically, like some alligators, they have to swim into a certain direction to, in order to make a bridge for Sam. <coughs> yeah, dunk the beast there, so you see how well that. Wow. <laughs> how well that Bigfoot was treated. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. And I think about really just scrapping that, but no. No. Oh, they're gonna watch the whole thing. I played through the whole thing. I'm gonna have to post commentate through the whole thing, so you might as well watch this. See, one one is already done, so there's only four to go. Twenty percent done. Uh, maybe our, our dog wants to say something to you. Maybe that's a bit more interesting for you guys. Hey, Kelly, come on. Wanna say something? Come on, say something on the microphone. I hope you heard it. <laughs> yeah, our dog is more loved than I am. Yep, definitely. Yeah, as I said, I totally screwed that stuff up. I'm trying to trick it a little bit. I don't think that is going to work. I might actually. Oh, see. Yeah, I think that one was the, was the longest one that it took. So, yeah, um. As I uh, already announced in my future projects that you might see on my homepage, uh, my main channel page, um. I'm, um. I just bought. Uh, I hate country music! I actually, I think I said that in this video. Well, no, the audio never got recorded, but I said that I bought uh, um, all some MX parts. There we go. One done. The other one you don't need to touch it, you don't have to touch it. It just is in the right position all along. Um, but I, th I think I just. Uh, I said it in this part that I, that I bought all the seasons that you can have uh, from the new games. Yeah, that that guy has to be the other way around, I believe. Yeah, you have to lure him away. Oh, didn't I have problems with that guy too? Oh no, no, that was easy. I think the other guy was a bit difficult, the f yeah. one in the front. Anyway, I, I bought all the parts because uh, they were on sale. Uh, for some reason, during the Ubisoft game sale that is this week, and uh, this is now the second video, so this will probably upload on a Sunday. Yeah, this is going to be the second video, so it's going to upload on a Sunday. And it's going to be the last day you can get Ubisoft games. Hey, and, uh, you made a path across the driving range. Yeah, um, yesterday for you will be today for me, which means um, there was Assassin's Creed on sale. Jeez, that certainly took Steam. long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy <laughs> golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? I would have done the same thing. Now oh, we have to open the door for him. Oh, so I bought all the parts for the new games from uh, Telltale. So we'll probably de do these, but they don't hey, count Sam. as classics. Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth. While I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there in that horrible booth. 
waiting. Jeez, Max, get <laughs> over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. Okay. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious, this game. I have to go away so you can see what I'm grabbing It's there. a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Gold Wump, Washington. <laughs> yep. Let me see. Another location on the map. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? I pick a fact yeah. right now. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. <laughs> I think you actually want to have to find a cork or something and go into the Vortex. Um, there's a little booth in the Vortex. And then you can suck it in. You have to be quick to use the item. But that's not going to happen in this episode. Anyway, since the other um, Simon Max parts, I don't consider them... Uh, um, classic, and I also don't want to you know, overload you guys on Seven Max. I'm gonna, you know, put them in every now and then. Uh, probably after Portal. I'm also gonna do the final fight in Portal One because I'm already pretty far, so I don't want to start the game over again. But I want to play the final fight before I start with Portal Two, so at least people get caught up on the main story. And now we have all the material we need to construct something and get something out of here because we will need that to show it to show will and uh, yeah after this game is done uh, probably gonna be another hour, hour of recording probably even record today um, I'm possibly gonna start isn't that awesome Ugh. I can't Cut use these things together oh you can so now we get a magnet in there. We, we actually have to revamp that thing later on as well with a cup, I, 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 I believe. Yeah, it's a waterfall. There's gonna be a couple of locations that we still have to go. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. Yep. <laughs> so there's a mood ring. I must be happy. <laughs> you sure must be. So, um, yeah, after I finish this game, I'm gonna start off, uh, uh, Illusion of Time, or it's called Illusion of Gaia, which doesn't make sense. Gaia is the one that helps you. The game itself is a, well, about the illusion of time, so the European title makes more sense, in my opinion, but that's just me. So that's that. Back to, uh, this guy, so you guys can actually hear the conversation with. Um, yeah, the music is really awesome, and uh, they think that he looks like Woody Allen. I think when you click look at him, it actually what's shows going that. On so. here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. That's what's going on. You must really love fish. Actually, <laughs> I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. Yeah. <laughs> I love all your movies, all. especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I must have confused you with Woody someone Allen. else. <laughs> what do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. What's the deal with that helicopter? <laughs> That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor guy. I think that might have actually... I'm, I'm showing around because I think that might actually... I thought back then it might tell you Have about you the diner, like the both twine. No, I try not to listen to country music. 
when I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. You too? <laughs> Don't move. <laughs>